Oh boy, we're back with a hot new video. This time we're taking recommendations from you guys right here. And you guys recommended I check out a page on YouTube called My Teenage Wedding, a Canadian reality TV show where young people are getting married. Uh, and man, it looked like it was a hit show because it's got a whole however many episodes this is. And that's it. That's it. And the one in particular you guys want me to check out was uh my teenage wedding teen dreamers and as you guys know we love some reality tv here we love it we love watching people just make really dumb decisions and making fun of it so let's jump into this video and let's make fun of some people ruining their life i can't wait this is Lacey. she's 19 years old <laughs> this is brandon he's also 19. <sighs> Oh, I threw them two punches. All right. Here we got Lacey and Brandon. We met the couple. Man, I think this dude outdone himself a little bit, you know? <laughs> well, maybe not. People think we're too young to get married, but we don't care. Woo! People think we're too young to get married, but we don't care. We don't care what people think. We're going to do it anyway. Maybe we just don't care about anything, and we're just going to get married. And well, I, the very first thing I want to say is, you know, you get these young couples that they're going to be in love. They're, they love each other. They'll be in love forever. They're, they're, they want to get married because they're going to spend the rest of their lives together. But the real question is, if you're going to spend the rest of your lives together, what, what really is the rush to get married? You know, I don't know if you I think if you feel like you're in love, then why wait? People. Yeah, if you feel if you feel like you're in love, why wait? Just go ahead and get married because you feel like you're in love. And in four months, hopefully you still feel like that because now you're married. <laughs> but you can just, I guess you can just get divorced or whatever. But really, if you're in love, if you feel like you're going to spend the rest of your life with this person, then there's really no rush. You literally have the rest of your life if you're going to stay, stay with that person for the rest of your life. There's literally no reason Unless you got like some, I don't know, like some reason to like that you need to get married, like, you know, visas or taxes or something like that. Not to make, you know, bull marriage down to like a money thing, but quite literally, if they're 19 years old and they're going to be together forever, they can just be like, hey, if we're still together by the time we're 26, let's get married, right? I, that's just my opinion. I don't know. What's the rush? But my grandparents were married before they were 19. Their love life inspires me completely. They got married really young, and they were so cute because... They... The, the dudes got to... Uh, there was a war going on when they were young. They, <laughs> people were getting shipped off. They got... I mean, okay. Yeah, sure. Let's just ba let's base your entire life off of, like, what your great-grandparents did. You know, they got married real young. They also, like, you know, smoked eight packs of cigarettes a day and, and did all this other stuff that's really bad for you. But sure, whatever, you know. <laughs> this, this look that she's making on her face right now that's just kind of how i'm imagining just like oh yeah my parents my grandparents they really inspired me to get married young because i liked that one part about their life <laughs> they would laugh and giggle like like little children i mean if you if your grandparents are running around and laughing and giggling like little children then uh they probably need some help all right just gonna go say that grandma grandma here <laughs> God bless grandma's soul, but uh, I mean, man, <laughs> years haven't been kind to her, but it's sweet. An old couple's sweet. It's sweet. They got, they got married young and they stayed, they stayed married forever. And that's just how everyone's life's going to be. Cause you know, that's just how it works. No. We actually met in elementary school. I put glue on her chair and she cried and went home. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I put glue on her chair and she hated me, but I don't remember that part. I, I love him now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Started dating when I was about 17. <laughs> A boat. I felt like it was love at first sight. What was you looking at? Love at first sight? I mean, I'm not trying to be that guy, but look, look at this dude. What did you, what did you see? <laughs> what did you fall in love with? Got an anime shirt on right now? That's what it is. Oh yeah. He's a wee, wee boo. I thought he was so damn hot. I remember. Oh, I love this picture they used to. He was so dang hot. He's just so hot. I seen her on the bus and I guess she was coming back or going to her modeling agency. 
And she looks so hot. And I think I messaged, <laughs> I messaged her. Oh my God, she was so hot. She's also a model. Oh, so hot. My unibrow agrees with me. Mm -hmm. So hot. I was on birth control before, but I had stopped for a, a month. And like at the end of that month, it was like, bam. I wanted to have a baby with Lacey. They got a baby. Oh my God. <laughs> and this poor baby looks just like her daddy. Oh. I, I love her a lot. She's a really good girl, and I wanted her to be my baby mom. Hazel. I love her so much. I just wanted her to be my baby mama. I, I love this whole story. You know, I had a daughter with her because I love her so much. Yeah. Yeah. Is she... How was uh, she got off birth control for a month and bam, it happened, you know, because old dude didn't want to wrap it up after that. I know the story here is you didn't have a baby because you were like, I love you, girl. You were having, yeah, you just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we all know, mm -hmm. yep, we know what happened there. You know, I would imagine him to go back to school, get an education. My mom's like, this dude needs to go back to school, you know, he needs to, he needs to learn something. And mom explained, like, like, she's too clingy? Mom doesn't like how clingy she is? Lacey was so clingy right from the beginning. Yeah, whatever. I mean, well, they got a kid together now, so that's... I don't know. It's gonna call weird, Mom, but whatever. I just want to find something good, just just a regular job for now, and eventually work towards a fighting career. Go into... <laughs> This guy's probably got like a whole room of like monster energy drinks and like snapback hats. He's just sitting there like punching the drywall while he's losing at Call of Duty and he wants to have a fighting career. Oh, yeah. He don't need an education to go fight people, mom. But what you do need is to be in shape and I'll get there eventually one day. You know, I'm going for the heavy heavyweight class, the big heavy hitters. Not trying to body shame or anything, but from one fat guy to another, he's not going to be able to do very much. <laughs> Yeah, sure. You want to be a fighter. Yeah. When are you going to actually start trying to do that? We're currently living at Bonnie's place, her mother, and um... I'm not really enjoying it too much. No, oh, that's they're staying with mom. Okay. So, yeah, right. Okay. Gotcha. Does either one of them have a job? Well, I know the girl doesn't have a job because she's a model, so that's basically unemployed, but um... Yeah. I'm going to say that he probably doesn't have a job either because... He doesn't want to go to school. He wants to be a fighter. He didn't want to pull out. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll, 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 see what, we'll, see what, we'll see where this goes. Have you been on any job sites lately? I don't know. I've, I've been looking for a couple things. Don't believe. Don't believe. The, the, the glance away. I, I don't. Have you been looking? I don't know is what he said first. I've been looking for a couple, couple of things. Like what? What have you been looking for? Name one. Name, name one application you filled out. If you're gonna live under my roof, you need to get a job. I know, it's just really hard and a lot of people don't understand that. Yeah, yeah a, lot of, a lot of people don't understand how hard it is to get a job, especially like when you don't look for it. And what is it doing with this baby? Is this baby even strapped in? He's got his arm over it. Oh, okay, I see the seatbelt. <laughs> He's just in there with the baby like under his arm. Okay, they got, they got, it, they got, they got it in. I've tried part-time jobs. I've tried getting full-time jobs. Nothing's working out on. Like I've tried it. It's so stressful. It's just. So maybe. He's tried part-time. He's tried full-time. So stressful. So hard. It's the jobs that are the problem. Not him. It's the jobs. No one will hire him. I mean, I know a good job if you want to be a fighter. Like, go be a, go, go be like a bouncer at a club. Can he at 19? I don't know the Canadian rules. It's just not that easy just to get a job just like that. It's you know? not only us. Like, there's hundreds of people out there in the same situation. Uh, it's not just, it's, she's taking up for him too. He's like, you can't just get a job like that. I've only been like looking never, you know, you've been on my case for like, how long have we been living with you? How long, how long have we had this kid? Six months? Yeah, it doesn't, a job doesn't fall out of the sky, mom. Duh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hundreds of people out there in the same situation. Your husband's a bomb. Your fiance's a bomb. I used to model, but now I'm looking to get back into it. I'm getting new headshots done today for my portfolio. I am uh, nervous. <laughs> Seasoned model, right? I used to do it. I'm getting back into it. I'm nervous. Getting new headshots done today. Nice. Okay, cool. I feel really awkward getting my picture taken. Uh okay. Are you a model or, or nah? You feel awkward getting your picture taken? I don't, 
understand you give me whiplash here girl make your mind up and i don't really know what i'm doing anymore modeling it can when did she when was she a model when she was like 10 years old or something she didn't forgot how to like get her picture taken oh my god modeling it can be pretty expensive I personally want her to get into it myself. But she's beautiful. She's tall. She has all the, the stuff you need to be a model. She has all the stuff you need to be a model, except for actual photographers. Look, if if it's expensive to be a model, you're not an actual model. You're just hiring a photographer. I don't know. We'll just throw that out there. I think you people understand what being a model actually is. No one's calling. You take pictures, you hired a photographer. That doesn't make you a model. It just means you hired a photographer and had your picture taken. Okay. <laughs> She's going to have to really step it up. I'm not sure that with a young child and a new husband, she'd actually be ready to give it all the time that it will take. Even the photographers are like, mm -mm. no. <laughs> Jeez, soul crushing. Sorry. You're very beautiful, Lacey. Like, I, you have no idea. Thank you, baby. I believe you. I believe you too. <laughs> the confidence. Staggering confidence. I want to be a competitive fighter. I'm at the gym right now. Oh, so now we got, we got the, we got his side of things. He's going to go to the gym, you know. He's going to, he wants to be a fighter. He's got to get into the, to, <laughs> the innovative martial arts, you know, they're, they're innovative here. They're, they're bringing up new ways of doing martial arts. They're innovating the sport. All right, cool. Let's see, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Probably, I'm going to go ahead and call it. I'm just going to say that he's just going to like do like <sighs> nothing and give up. Are you keeping in shape? Uh, not lately, man. Not lately, honestly. All right. <laughs> I speak. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a competitive fighter, but I, I don't even have the willpower to like exercise or even do anything. So yeah, I'm... <laughs> oh, I just do such a joke. I spend most of my days really doing well and playing video games. There we go. He's finally honest. He spends most of his days not doing anything and playing video games. We uh, would we call that like. At the beginning of the video, I think we did. Wow, it's like this is so transparent and painful to watch. Ah! All right, so all I want is 15 kicks each leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Relax. All right, nice job. You, you did it. <laughs> okay, Ooh, that's, that's a rough workout right there, man. Woo! Had to kick them legs. Uh oh. Someone done kicked one of these things into the roof up there. Look at this. <laughs> Missing a tile. Someone got them powerful kicks. Time to go. Break's over. Until you start puking, then that's when you can give up. If they don't go back to school and get some kind of training in something. The, the dude's over there like, get back up. And he's over there like, oh, God, he's burping and stuff. Oh, he's, 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 he's about to throw up everything he ate. I don't know if Brandon will commit to his dream of being a fighter. Oh! It's really hard. <laughs> I'm super exhausted. It's just like I don't want to do anything anymore right now. How about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually when people have dreams, they work towards their dreams. They don't just like show up at the gym. I want to be a fighter. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wow. I wish I could. I wish. I wish I could be on, on someone's side here. I, I always want to try to like be like positive, but also be kind of like snarky a little bit, but there's just like nothing here. There's like nothing of value. There's, there's, just, there's, there's nothing good about any of this. It's just sad. It's so sad. Yeah, it's time to quit talking. <laughs> Famous words of everyone that tries to exercise and they're out of breath. <gasps> I should probably quit smoking. I should probably eat less. I should probably exercise regularly. Oh, I want to be a fighter when I grow up, I guess. <laughs> today we're going to the venue where we're going to be getting married. I oh my God, hang on. Do you see that? Today we're going to the venue where we're going to be getting married. Dang, I take it. The training's paying off. Old dude just busted out of his whole jacket over there. He just flexed on us. Oh, my bad, dude. He's about to come fight me. I'm, I'm old. Please don't hurt me. I'm just having a wedding in a theme hotel. It's amazing. Wow. Something you won't see at a normal venue for a wedding. Wait, what? 
They're like, what? Is this where they're having their, hang on, they're having their wedding here? In the penthouse? With the jacuzzi? And the bed and everything? Oh, <laughs> wait, what? Something you won't see at a normal venue for- Yeah, there's a reason you don't see hot tubs at a freaking wedding venue. And then Lola goes and turns on a waterfall for the jacuzzi, and I was like, what? We're thinking of doing the vows in front of the waterfall. No, no, they're not going to have their vows in front of the jacuzzi. No. Oh, their minds were so blown. Wow. Water into the jacuzzi. Crazy. It's so beautiful. Let's, let's have our vows right here. In front of the jacuzzi. Okay. Okay. We didn't want the average wedding. We wanted more of a party scene, more of a younger, vibrant. Yeah. More of a younger, more. Yeah, more younger wedding base. <laughs> we wanted a more younger. Uh, don't get a lot of people these age getting away. I doubt they get anyone being married there. <laughs> maybe if they eloped and they're like sneaking away or something, maybe then, God, we want the party scene wedding. Sure. I'm sure your family's going to love that. They can go watch TV while you're getting married in front of the jacuzzi. <sighs> Shoot a couple of rounds of pool. Nice. Well, I think this is going to fit our budget. Definitely. Well, I hope so because we can't afford to go over at all my mom is helping us out financially <laughs> this is a loan i guess like he's like if this fits into our budget mom's like i hope so because i'm the one paying for it <laughs> yeah okay i have jealousy and trust issues i used to think brandon would cheat on me because i've caught him talking to other <laughs> what hang on well you got trust issues because you've caught your fiance cheating on you before is that what you're about to say because i've caught him talking to other girls hitting on other girls I guess the wedding kind of caught. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a, I, I can't wait for them to get married. I'm sure this is going to, it's going to work out wonderfully. I don't want to be an older bride. I wanted to be a younger bride and I just want to have a wedding when I'm still beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh God. <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> I just want to have a, a wedding when I'm still beautiful. Oh. Is that now? Is that is that supposed to be now? Is that you're beautiful now? Oh. Oh. I'm pretty excited to be out with the girls right now. I feel like I haven't gotten to do lots since I've had babies, so I'm really excited to get out again. Oh, that's nice. She, she's getting her bachelor's. She has her baby. She hasn't been able to go out very much. You know, I, I get that. Like, that's nice. She gets to go out and, uh, you know, have penis straws. <laughs> <laughs> is this going out though? They're still in the house. This is the bachelor, the bachelorette and bach bachelor party night, you know? Penis straw time, yeah. What's a penis straw? And our grandparents, when they got together, they were like 13 and 14. And if they can do it so young, then why the hell can't she? <laughs> yeah, that sound logic right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got married 13, 14. Why can't, why can't she do it? <laughs> Pre-game at my mom's house. Then we're going bowling in a limo and then not bowling in a limo that'd be pretty awesome though oh my god she's already wasted <laughs> we're gonna freaking get my mom's house and then go bowling in a limo awesome right girls ha! so the limo dropped us off at the bowling alley and it's getting pretty crazy here <laughs> it's a pretty good night out for my last night being single who is getting crazy at the bowling alley look out now we doing it big oh yeah oh god you <laughs> watch out i hit one pin earlier crazy setting records tonight groomsman allen's throwing me a bachelor party i got all my homies from the hood here i got my brother-in-law jordan i think it's a little crazy oh <laughs> wait hey they get the what happened to the stairs here <laughs> who I, I don't know this is the first thing i noticed was like what happened here what'd they do it's brandon's bachelor party and my brother jordan went with him and i'm worried it's gonna get crazy uh oh uh, he, already, he started pushing on him you gotta watch out brother jordan's here they're gonna throw down got his, got his leather jacket his chain on watch out and i'm worried it's gonna get crazy are we really not going to a strip club God. He's about to fight him right now. Like, dude, we're not going to the strip club. Are you serious? You see this hickey on my neck? I love strippers, dude. We're going. Wearing 
hot chick? Like, I'm just saying, it might be my sister, but you're getting married to a hot chick. Thanks. Yeah, she kind of looks like me. Kind of looks like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, my sister's so hot, dude. You should get so lucky. My sister's so hot. Hey, I'm hot. I'm hot too, right? <laughs> Wink, what's up? You had enough to drink yet? What's up, bro? <laughs> Where are the strippers at? Lacey. It's your brother. <laughs> hey, Lacey, it's your brother. Hey. <laughs> You're so hot right now, girl. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> well, hey, is he like slobbering down his chin right now? What is that? Is he drooling over? What is, he's drooling over his sister. Oh, my God. If there's any strippers, the wedding's off. But your sister says no strip clubs or we will have to cancel the wedding. Word. Word, dude. We, we are having a crazy bachelor party. Let's go jump on Facebook right quick, man. Let's go jump on the family computer here in the den. Yeah, dude. No, no strippers. It's no go, bro. Hold my, he's holding his hand right now. They're, <laughs> they're bonding. Baby. Can you just stop? Lacey's not very impressed with my bachelor party at all. Lacey doesn't want me to go to a strip club. Uh-oh, there's the drywall hole right there. I told you, he's a cow drinking monsters and punching a hole in drywall. We found the drywall hole and he can't even enjoy, he can't even enjoy his party because he's like so jealous and calling all the time. Oh God, come on. It's the whole point of like having a bachelor party is just to have that one like last night of freedom or whatever they call it, or even like hers. Like he didn't like go call her up. Hey, what are you doing? You bowling? If you love each other so much, you go spend the rest of your lives together. What are you so worried about? I love you, man. Just trust me, man. <laughs> That's how you talk to your fiance. Hey, man, I love you. <laughs> trust me, man. Yeah, man. Oh, we'll get, we're getting married tomorrow, man. Bye. Today, I'm pretty drained from my bachelor party. I had to wake up early and get ready for all of this. I just had no sleep. I'm really exhausted. And I'm getting nervous now, man. <laughs> Time of my big day. I'm exhausted and hungover. Oh, boy. Oh, can't wait to... Get married and go take a nap. When I woke up, I was still kind of drunk from my bachelor party the night before, and I forgot my fiance Lacey's ring at the house. You forgot your you forgot the the wedding you forgot the wedding ring. <laughs> you forgot the wedding ring. Okay, yeah. Okay, sure, sure. It's uh, very high on your priority list. Getting married. Oh yeah, I forgot the ring. Oh, I was just so hungover. Well, my bad. I just hope the night goes fine tonight and there's no drama. Can't wait for it all to be over. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for it to all be over. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> there can't be much more of this video left. Please let it be over. Just God, just end it. End the suffering already. Of course, everything's going wrong. I forget my dress. Brandon forgets the ring. So do you have your- How do you forget a dress? I mean, I get the ring, but then she, that's, that's what she's wearing. How do you forget what you're wearing? Whatever. These people are, uh, these people are 100% in. They're happy. The, like, even the bride seems like she's just so ready to get married. Yeah, this is great. I just clip it onto your garter and then- just make sure you give it back to me so we don't lose it, okay? It was our grandfather's clip. He actually died seven years ago yesterday. Oh, that's so sweet. Your grandpa's clip just put on your garter. <laughs> don't lose it, though. Give it back to me. Especially before he, like, flings it out into the crowd by the jacuzzi, you know? <clears throat> oh, here they come. <laughs> I can't believe that I am looking into the eyes of my wife. You are the most beautiful woman in the world. <gasps> you always know how to make me laugh. Oh, girl. <laughs> I'm surprised he can read. <laughs> oh, it's getting me teared up over here. Oh, I'm so proud of him. Oh. Brandon and Lacey, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Yeah, they did it. They're married. Go jump in the jacuzzi. Woo, party time. Let's do it. He's the most wonderfulest man in the world. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with him. Oh, I can't now what do we do? <laughs> Yeah, we're married. He's the most wonderfulest man ever, she said. They're, they're so happy together and now confused. So what's next? I guess that's that's life. I guess we just like, we're, do we die now or what, what happens? What? We got to go back to normal? I still got to get a job? Uh! I guess now we can change our status to married. <laughs> oh, nice. They can change their Facebook status to married. Yes. They did it. Heck yeah. That's all that mattered. Facebook status. I, I, mm, mm, mm. Let's see what the comments had to say about this one. He has no job, mooches off family, is really unattractive, isn't paying for his wedding, and has a child that he isn't able to support. It's really sad that Lacey is so scared about losing him. Yeah, that's 
that's sad. <laughs> Wants to be a model, doesn't like getting her picture taken. Yeah. <laughs> Bran appears to need a bath. <laughs> so they got the jacuzzi so that she can push him in afterwards and <laughs> wash off all the axe body spray. And then <laughs> I want to make her my baby mama. And they say romance is dead. Oh, right, here we go. This is an update right here. Lazy, Lacey is divorced from him. She has another child by another man, but the kids got taken off her. Brandon had two other baby mamas before Lacey. Lacey says on her Facebook that Brandon cheated on her with an escort. <laughs> let's be, let's be honest. Who didn't see any of that coming? Like that, that was like the most obvious thing. Like he had two other babies before her. Oh, I had a baby with her because I love her. <laughs> yeah, whatever, dude. They should move to Egypt since they are already living in denial. <laughs> <laughs> Did her brother just call her a hot chick? Oh, there's so many things wrong with this video. There's so many things wrong. Oh God, that I, like I'm laughing about it, but that was just that was really depressing on many many levels. I feel I'm only laughing to hide the pain of watching that. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Uh, leave a like even if you didn't like it. I don't care. Just leave a like. Leave a leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I hope you guys have a great day. <laughs> Uh, if today's your birthday, happy birthday. I just, I, I can't, I keep thinking about the video and just like, Whoa. but all in all, I love you. Have a great day. Your husband's a bomb. Your fiance's a bomb.